the range goes from zero to 14. Is that right? Is how you measure pH? Exactly. So zero is going to be your most acidic, seven being neutral, and then 14 is going to be your most alkaline or basic. So you're never really going to be at zero or 14 when you're growing. You're usually going to be around that medium seven to 5.5. You're never really going to deviate because if you do, you'll, you'll notice immediately your plants will tell you. Is one more harmful than the other, or is it both kind of uh, the same kind of issue? They're both equally harmful in different ways. A way to put it is if you've ever seen a nutrient breakdown chart when it comes to pH, you'll see that certain nutrients are available at different pH ranges. For instance, you get more nitrogen uptake when you're in the higher seven ranges, even though you won't be reaching that. Uh, if you go below six, you're actually not getting any nitrogen. So what happens is if you go too low, you're actually getting a certain type of newt lockout. You're not actually getting anything available. Now, if you go too high, you're burning your root zone as well. Mm -hmm. So either way, if you go to either side, it's not going to be good for you. You really want to stay around that sweet spot, <laughs> so to say, when you really want to be around six, six and a half, depending on what you're doing. I like to say your plant's only as strong as the environment that you put it in. Naturally, cannabis doesn't flourish in the average environment in the United States based where you're at. So you kind of have to play mother nature in that sense. Say you don't get enough sun, your lighting's down, or you don't do watering and feedings, then the less balance that you have in the garden, the more stressed your plant's going to be because it realizes it's not in its natural environment. When you get deficiencies or when you don't take precautionary things like pHing or water, what happens is, is you get deficiencies or you stress your plant out to the point where it would actually interfere with your yields, whether that you have to take the time to fix the nutrient deficiency, you have to change your pH, or you have to put more product in, you have to use different supplements. All of that adds up and it takes time too. That also includes your lighting, uh, how much electricity that you're using for your fans, so the more problems that you have, the more longer and expensive it's going to be and the more your product's going to suffer if you don't take precautionary measures to make sure you're in that right balance of pretending to be Mother Nature. We have our different cannabis therapy videos. If you click on the video, click on the attachment slide to get the free resource that's attached to that session. One of the key things about this hub is that you're able to search any type of keyword. If I type the word license, it will take you to what videos actually talked about licensing. And it will talk about also exactly where in that video it will actually talk about licensing. See you in the next video.